Level two is the Bottle Grotto! So, the second dungeon. Oh, ooh, ooh, and this is sort of a, a fancy thing to do here at the start. You wanna light uh, both of those torches to open the doorway to the right. Let's see, I believe here I fight uh, both the enemies. Looks like I might need to kill both the enemies for an item. Hey, it's a key, so I can use the key uh, on the room here. Or I can use the key down here. I'll use it down here. So this is an enemy. Uh, you'll notice it kind of does the opposite of uh, whatever you do. So you do need to do a charged attack. It's like when I go down, it goes up. When I go left, it goes right. You want to do a charged attack and hit the enemy from behind. It's like a shy guy enemy. Yep. So hit it from behind. That gives you a treasure chest. Hey, you've got the compass! And these pots, these pots, they are too heavy for Link to lift. They're just really, really heavy. So you'll notice we have raised blocks here. Oh, and here are two more of those Shy Guy enemies. Can I actually defeat them through this area? Through that block? Yes, I can! Giving me another key. Nice. Okay, so we've got these raised blocks to the bottom. You can raise slash unraise them by hitting one of those crystal ball switches. So I'm gonna uh, lower them here so I can get this treasure chest. Well, you got another small key. I'm gonna go right here. That looks like a, a switch in the bottom. Bottom right. I'm gonna stand on it. Oh, that gives me a small key! Wow, I'm just getting all sorts of small keys, aren't I? Yeah, just all over. Okay, so let's go north now. Finish with that room. And this room has some enemies. Let's see what happens when I defeat them all. These are the ones that are defeated by the shield. And nothing happens. Okay, nothing happens when you defeat the enemies there. Let me just open the door. Ah, this room, kind of tricky. Uh, the puzzle is to push these two blocks inside. I've got that enemy sort of trapped in between the two blocks now. Ha! Now serves that enemy right. What a mean old enemy. Okay, so let's see where uh, this leads. I'm gonna have to jump. Pretty simple challenge there. And this leads to, wow, this, this room is hard to see. You can kind of see where things are. Yeah, so you could use your magic powder to uh, light up uh, the area, or just go through the doorway to the mini boss. Okay, so this is the mini boss, and the boss throws blocks at you. Oh, and it also will throw you. So not just bombs, it will throw you. Oh, and then it charges sometimes, it looks like. Oh, I'm totally dead now. Yeah, okay, I died there. I was not careful enough with that boss. Well, now that I'm restarting, now that I'm like restarting this dungeon, let's see what happens when I go left from the start. I think you need to destroy all the enemies there uh, to open up the doorway. Let's light up this room. Yeah, and there's nothing in this room, really. There's really nothing there. This room has a, a treasure chest, it looks like. At last, you've got the map! Woohoo! And you are dead. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm dead. I'm I, I'm I, I'm dead. Oh, it's called the Bottle Dungeon because it's shaped like a bottle. Nice. Nice. Well, I think we know what to do now. Let's go back to the mini boss. That looks like um, the only area I have not been to. Like I haven't. 
been everywhere else to the left, it didn't look like it was too expansive of an area to the left that I could travel to. Solved all the puzzles here. Solved all the puzzles here. Grabbing that uh, magic potion. Just in case, just magic potion refill, why not? Nah, I was hoping to get a heart there. I could use a heart drop. Uh, yeah, anytime soon, a heart drop would be appreciated. Okay, hopefully I can get one from the bats in this room. Nope. Mm, let's continue then. this link. Oh, there we go. There's a heart refill. Great, and nothing in that in that room besides just going up to the boss battle. Unless I'm mistaken, the boss does like a distinct animation before it charges you. Yeah, that was it. There we go. Now, now I'm being more cautious. Oh, yeah. Uh. I was about to brag about how cautious I am. Oh, look, and all those walls. Those walls have holes. I mean, all those things on the side. Those are holes. So if you stand on them too long, you'll fall down the hole and die. Oh, jeez. Link. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Please don't die on me. That would be very sad if you died a second time. There we go. Enemy defeated. Oh, wow, that was close. Okay, and I got a fairy. Yay, a fairy. So let's see. Um, okay, jump here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Jump here. I don't think I can use a stone slab because I don't have the piece. A piece is gone. Oh, darn. Oh, well. And in this room, you want to head towards the upper right corner. You don't want to get sucked into uh, the corner there. Uh, let me get this piece of heart. Hey, it's the stone slab. Let's actually, uh, I'm, I'm dying on purpose so I can get over here. First, you defeat the imprisoned pole's voice. Last, the Stalfos. Ooh, yeah, that's a puzzle. That's a very useful uh, clue for the puzzle. It's kind of a difficult puzzle. It's basically telling me the order that I fight the enemies in. Here's a rupee. Hooray. More magic powder. Open up this door. Oh, okay, this is where the magic powder gets used. You want to avoid these ghosts. The magic powder gets rid of them. You only have to light one of the, the lanterns by lit both of them. And this gives me the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Hooray! So we can pick up those really heavy stones which have been blocking our way in the overworld. And we can also pick up these uh, little pots here. Hmm, so this is a pretty good like halfway point uh, of the dungeon. So I'm going to die here on purpose. And go over here and use these uh, pots to get 50 rupees! Very nice! And yeah, I'll show off uh, uh, picking up these stones right here. Yeah, I can pick them up now. They're no longer blocking my way. Now I can travel all over the game. Hooray! And I can actually see the windfish now, unless I'm mistaken. The windfish lives in the egg, uh, right here. So now we can finally see the wind fish. It's just in a big egg. Yeah! Cool! So that's that's the creature we're trying to, to, to wake up. That's why we're going through these dungeons to get instruments. We are trying to wake up the creature that lives inside the egg. Great! And in the next video, we'll do the second half of the dungeon.